Hi folks, welcome to another video. Now this one I've been asked for by a couple of followers asking if I could explain how I went grey um, and how easy it is or difficult. Um, actually, it was surprisingly easy. I had bright red hair followed by bright orange hair um, for many, many years when I moved to Brighton I went a bit wacky. And um, one day I looked in the mirror and I was in Australia so I was really tanned and healthy looking and I just thought, ooh, that orange hair's a bit too much now, I'm that much older. Um, I think I was in my 60s by then, but anyway, I thought, right, enough. And I thought it was going to be a nightmare because you can see how thick my hair is and it's always been about this length. Um, but actually it was surprisingly easy thanks to a couple of top tips from various hairdressers, both there and here. The first thing I did, now obviously the roots were horrendous, that's why I got into headscarves. So when the roots were really bad and you could see dark brown and grey coming through here, um, and the rest was by orange, I would just start tying headscarves. So at least it hid it so it looked a bit better. So that's the first top tip. Now during the growing out period, um, I did about three times a year, I would go to the hairdresser and have what they call a T, I think it's called a T stripe, I want to call it a T bone. Basically, you get bleach put in, not brilliant for the hair, but there's another tip coming, but a bit of bleaching there, a bit of bleaching there, a bit of bleaching there, not, obviously not the whole head, got way too much hair. And then I would use a colour wash, these are actually wash in and out. Um, that one's Directions, that one's the Bleach Company, they're all over the internet. So I could have pink strips or white strips, and now I'm absolutely grey, it took two years. Um, I sometimes have white toner put in, but you know, it's my own, I can do it at home, it's easy. So basically the top tip is get some bleaching done, and then at least you can put other colours in, like your own natural colour or extra grey. It depends what you start off with. Have regular haircuts so as it grows quicker, and the best beauty treatment for your hair while it's growing out and you might be having more bleaching or colouring than normal, is to use a product called Olaplex, which is like a very, very, very deep conditioning treatment and um, any hairdresser will do this for you and I'm pretty sure you can buy it. So that is, and I wish I had a simple answer, you just have to be very patient and keep covering your roots and get it bleached if you want some extra colour or you want to help it along. I went sort of pretend blonde for a while while it was growing out and it really worked and it took I think about 18 months to two years and it's really grey now. Um, however, I have very thick hair and grey hair is more brittle. So another top tip that I've only found out recently was um, that I noticed I was getting a very itchy scalp and that happened when I started growing my hair out. So it could be that my natural grey hair is more brittle. And Philip Kingsley, I'm sure you've all heard of him if you're in the UK, maybe in the US as well, he's one of the most famous trichologists in Britain, I mentioned him in my last book. Um, his, one of his relatives, his wife, I don't know who it is, but somebody with the same surname, has brought out treatment for an itchy scalp. And I've only done the eight day course, you get little mini things, you get a uh, liquid that stops the itching, you get shampoo and you get a mask. And I swear to God, in just eight days, it's better already. I very rarely scratch. Have you noticed me scratching, Leah? No. Nope. Uh, you see, normally I'm like this all the time, like a dog with fleas. And my final top tip, which will really help you over the worst, is you can get your hair more grey, especially you youngsters who love grey hair. Isn't it nice that it's so fashionable and trendy? Um, is to get a dry shampoo my friend in Australia, Charlotte, who's a photographer, gave me this top tip. And if you use your dry shampoo... Look! Can you see? It's slightly greyer. So you can actually get a more grey look by using dry shampoo. So I hope that's helped you. I hope that's inspired you if you're 
over a certain age and want to go fashionably grey. Um, and if you're a youngster, I hope these top tips have helped as well. Please comment, please follow, please subscribe, um, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!